Well, good morning from Golden Bucket Farm. Such a beautiful morning to be sitting out on the porch. I just thought I'd turn the camera on. I have to hold it up a little high because, hmm, down here, he himself has Orson's quilt out drying on the porch rail, so. I don't know if you can hear the birds singing. Yeah. Nice to have you here with us. It's just a delightful morning. Looking to the west. The old barn is really smiling due to the new paint job on this side. Worker Worker did a fine job scraping and priming and painting way up on the, on the high ladder. Well done, sir. He himself said, hmm, 74 degrees, I think, right now. I hear a kitty. Two of the barn kitties went inside. And one might be by the screen door there. Yep. What's doing at your place today? He himself says that's a lazy day. I worked all week and I said you need a quiet day sometimes. All that's going on in the world Hard to think about that when we're here. It's just so peaceful. Wish everybody could experience this. Oh, oh I'm sitting on a roundy. I can. Oh! <laughs> I'm on a roundy round chair. I didn't realize that. I forgot. Let's see what's down here. Fountain, we have to turn the fountain on. Yep. I hear a few cars out on the highway. There goes one. From way over there in the distance, across the mile, one of our vets. Worth, worth thankful that worker worker dad is a vet and of one who's our neighbor vet here and we have one to the east in Oxford Dr. Molly so we feel sorry for you guys who have none in your area. Yep. Thinking about what we might make for supper tonight. I don't know. You want to go outside, Keith? Uh oh. Daddy's going to let the. One of the kitties out. There he is. Hi, big boy. Meow. 
Meow. Where are you going? Under the chair? Pussy cat, pussy cat. Where have you been? Yeah, there he is, taking a little look out. I'm going upstairs. Okay. There, he took away the quilt. Got dry. He's an early riser. Yep. Flag is just waving a little bit. Breeze is from the north. We always think we would be a good place to have a, or be a flag tester. Because of the flatness. I'll go over here, you can see. <laughs> Pretty flat on our little prairie. So the wind comes whipping. When it blows, our flagpole and our flags take quite a beating. He himself always has a couple flags in the ready because overnight sometimes you can get one that's just come to pieces. What do you think, kitty? We have big boy, little, whoops, little, little man, and my girl, three siblings, born over here, uh, yeah, over there, across the fields, by, um, that's Highway 27, goes all the way from Florida to Michigan, like the f one of the first in the highway system. Yep. So maybe maybe you have twenty seven that goes by some of you. It goes by um hmm, near our cottage up in Michigan, and yeah, it's all the same. 27 is 27. There's newer. There comes somebody. There are newer roads, but yep, that was the. I don't know when that was. In the early, late 40s or early 50s? I'll have to take a look and think. I thought it would be fun to do the old 27 with a vintage camping trailer and, and go all the way from, from the top of Michigan to the bottom of Florida. I don't know how long that would take and just take the old route as long as you, you know, do you know anybody who's done that? I think that would be fun. Can you hear the train? Right along there, um, kind of where the tree line is over there, we have, yeah, Amtrak even comes by here. It's mostly freight trains, but um, we have passenger trains that come by us too. And just, I don't know what, 20 miles? 18, 20 miles uh, to the, would it be northwest, I guess, of us, <laughs> comes to, Amtrak comes to Connersville, and so we can have company come, Joel comes, sometimes on the train that way, pick him up. I think that train comes through Cincinnati and then comes up this way. That that comes by us in the real early morning, like 3.30. Yeah. So, we're out here, but we have transportation. 
it's fun to see through the year what what comes uh, what kind of cars are on the trains I'm not even sure which way it's coming oh there it is I don't know can I make it can you see it coming I come. When we bought here, the people told us that they're coming to a little town just to the east of us. There's really just houses there and the co-op barns. And uh, called Cottage Grove and the people who lived here said they used to, to order up ice cream to come on the train and it would stop at Cottage Grove and they'd go get you know a big bunch of ice cream and then have a party porch party and people would bring cake and pie and other desserts like that and yep Good times on our front porch. Not this porch. It's the one around the corner. We have a front porch, back porch, and this we put this side porch on. Mm -hmm. I liked it on another house over by Oxford, so I had my builder go with me, and we knocked on the lady's door and said, We like your porch. Would you mind if we measured and so he measured up what her porch was and replicated it on ours it's been delightful it's hmm surprising that there wasn't maybe there was a porch here at one time but not not in the last I don't know if the people before us they bought here in 39 I think from then on no there wasn't a porch on this side just just some little steps coming here I guess so all right well oh there's an airplane so we're getting what planes trains <laughs> cars and all we need is somebody to come by on there on their uh, motorcycle or their horse or something yet yeah, we'd have all all kinds of modes of travel this morning all right love to you all blessings on your weekend and take care be safe bye bye